I think the future of design and architecture is also to follow a non-siloed approach. I don't think that you will see paintings and hardcore uh, broadly wallpapers in future. Probably everything will go digital. Uh, broadly, you will have interiors which are changing daily. I don't know, but uh, as I as I think of the future, uh, uh, the future will be of course led by um, intuition. Uh, a lot of emotion, a lot of user experience, and a lot of technology. So I think uh, uh, the future needs to be kept uh, uh, in the way that we don't, uh, you know, kind of think of just architecture and design, but we think of holistic as a solution to the mankind. Hi, this is Siddharth Patla from Design Factory, and I am happy to share my thoughts on India art and design. Our design philosophy is uh, to be a multidisciplinary designer and we, we of course follow our process but at the same time there are a lot many intuitive gaps in the process also. Past decade I think I have learned myself telling that everything is a story uh, and you know everything starts from a story. For me a function is also a story so to me the philosophy is uh, uh, that what is the story of the design, what is your story, what is the design uh, philosophy in terms of the story of the design itself. Um, so I think that's been the philosophy. I think if one person which has inspired me the most in that sense is Charles and Dean's, not one person, but the couple itself. So whenever we start a project, we always think of the end user. Following the end user, we think of the end experience and uh, we, we always think that what is that end experience that the user will get. That end actually tells us the start of the project, uh, you know, so that kind of define our brief, that kind of define the process and that is how we evolve our overall design. Recently, we have done a project known as uh, Smithy One Art Memorial and Museum, which is uh, uh, which is in Guj. Uh, so we did the museum part, um, uh, and uh, the, the interiors of the museum, the experience of the museum. Um, it, it touches my heart because uh, the museum is uh, is intent to be. Uh, on natural disaster, which of course took a lot of lives. So I think we've been very sensitive that how you create a place which will make people cry, but at the same time you need to celebrate resilience. So I think that is very important. So I think that was challenge, and, and that is why the project is very special. And now we, uh, we we look back, I think we did 200 different solutions and a lot of design ideas which kind of assist the overall story, which is not about only the aspect, but uh, but also the resilience of Kachi people and celebration of life. So I think that is very special to us. Challenges are a part of life. They make you more stronger. But uh, I always feel that uh, uh, the, the biggest challenge which come all the way or the, the biggest is always about human resources. I think design is a philosophy which we are not again alone and uh, you need a team to do that. At the same time, you know, to be uh, in love with your team. Uh, uh, and you need to build your resources. So I think if you can solve the human resources problem, I think a lot of challenges can be solved. Every problem can be solved through human communication and human uh, human attendance. So I think that is the biggest challenge and that is the biggest opportunity also. The universal design is something which we as designers are very sensitive. But I also agree that our museums are universal in the nature that wheelchairs can go, but I think there's a new philosophy of that uh, uh, of, of universal design which is inclusive for all, you know, so uh, I, I need to think through that can my can my user who is a blind can uh, feel the museum in the same way a normal user is, is, is believing in the museum itself, so I think the current answer is no, but uh, I think we should go to that level of giving the experience to a blind person uh, as as a normal person also, or uh, to to a special person as a normal person also. My message is to enjoy your passion, uh, and I think uh, a lot of challenges may come your way, but uh, they are they are just there to uh, to help you out. Uh, and it's a beautiful field. It's a it is a field which can uh, which can uh, make you meditate. It is a field which is uh, which is. Uh, which defines your life and your passion. So I think just be sticking around and uh, doing what you love is, is, is the greatest achievement in this field. So uh, as I am enjoying, as everybody, as designers, we are enjoying, let's take this field ahead and uh, uh, and, and, and we need to take uh, the design in India to the next level.